Okay. Welcome back, boys and girls, uh, to another episode of uh, <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm feeling a bit, bit off today, uh, feeling a bit under the weather. Uh, I think I had fever uh, this morning and I have aching in my whole body so I'm a bit uh, a bit docile and that's because yesterday I had my second second uh, corona vaccination shot so oh ah shit it hurts in the shoulder like crazy so after the second shot, the first shot, no problem. I, I didn't feel anything. No no tiredness, no no nothing. But this the second shot. I got uh, hurt in my joints everywhere in the whole body. And uh, the shoulder was uh, disastrous. And I got the fever. So, so yeah. The second one was worse, <laughs> but I'll get better. I'll get better quite soon, I think. Since uh, you're not getting infected with the actual virus, uh, these these new vaccines are with the mRNA, so it's not much better. But your immune system kicks kicks up a notch and uh, tries to deal with this threat that's coming in to your body so you always get some kind of reaction some sort but it's not the actual virus uh, I don't think it is the virus I think uh, AstraZeneca has the, the killed off virus and yeah the other ones are mRNA from the virus, messenger RNA. So what was I supposed to do? Should I go fishing? I think it's so boring. Kieran. Oh, wait a minute. I think there is a mission Arthur, involved you in this. Fishing? Yes. We're running off to Como Driscoll. Of course not. Cup of tea. I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. <laughs> do you want to go fishing with me? Uh -huh. I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. Where, where did I get that All gun? Right, grab your horse and let's go. I, I have a pistol. I have that. German pistol. I I didn't realize I okay, picked it up. Me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. So where did I find it? Maybe from the Lemoines. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're <laughs> off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. I think we're not only fishing. Or, yeah, over here. This is the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. Here. This strip of shit. Where's my? There it is. Bird looks perfect. Take the spot. Okay, I need I need a cup of tea to keep me warm. 
a blanket, comfy slippers, yeah, and a cup of tea. <clears throat> L1. What? That was the wrong one? What the? Oh, I don't have a bait. Uh, bobber fishing. Corn. Okay, let's get corn. Maybe they like corn. <coughs> Corn bait. Okay, I'm supposed to stand here. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, uh, maybe some bread or cheese. I put corn on it. <laughs> You get many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And the thing Whoa. that was the high point of your career. Home goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm. I'm Kieran Duffy. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Why aren't you fishing? Oh, come on, she's. Fishing. I am fishing. I'm just. Uh, I need to put some bait on. You think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> what in the world? That's Arthur, a good are you one. seeing this? What? The feller's naked Not as a jaybird. Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Cone. If hey, I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know <laughs> what you want to hear. I'm trying hard right, to feel fellas, sorry for you, but there. somehow I, you take a break? Come I just can't in. manage to. The water's Is that why you like this spot? My lord. There's you somebody needs to go to confession. What? We hope to. You haven't scared them all away, have you? <laughs> oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. <laughs> well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. Okay. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! Don't tell me you changed your mind. No, I'm, I'm riding with you. But I, I don't like fishing, it's so boring. Super boring. And I don't, th I don't like fish either, so... I'm not eating fish. I haven't liked fish, so... Why, why would I fish? Why would I fish? I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. Well... Whoa! Big ones. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. My horse keeps pooping all the time. I hope we land this monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. What are you waiting for?
I have fish bait on. Bread bait. You won't catch much if you don't cast the line. Oh, I need to move. Come on. There are a lot of snakes there. My pappy mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Mammy? Like I, said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much. But mammy? I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. Go. This is this is uh, really boring. <sighs> Did you hook him, the big one? No, oh, that's no. a small one. Uh, don't feel like much of a fighter. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Nice catch. But that's not the big one we saw. No. That's uh 700 grams. Okay. Oh, no bait. Cheese. Let me throw. See? Look at this. I ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, <laughs> I'd have never have said yes to this. But he's a prisoner. You need to trust him. You got it. That has got to be the one, right? No. Uh, I don't feel very big to me. No. No, that's not it. Can we go home now? It's a bluegill, but it's Only a couple of grams. I'll try corn. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. Yeah. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. No. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Yes, please. Go on, I'll see you later. This might be a li little bit bigger, or is it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Bluegill. No, largemouth bass. I'll keep this one. Okay. Let's go and do some missions. So I got this new gun, this one, I didn't know I had it, Midnight's pistol, oh yeah, 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 okay, Midnight, that's the gunslinger, that's where I got it from, I haven't used it, that's it, just haven't used it. But I want. Uh, huh? I want uh, revolvers. Maybe Grangers and Flacos. They are very fancy pistols. Yeah. You all right, girl? 
So, should I do the uh, Grace mission? Bill Williams or the Grace? Which one? Or should I write here? It's a bit offline, uh, off the off to the other side. That might not be too good. Yeah, let's do the Grace. The Gray family. And I'm wanted in this region as well. I think fifty dollars or something like that. So over there is the braid braid weights manor. Braid braid weights. Braid weights. So I'll go to the other farmhouse. Or what do you call it? Plantation? Plantations? So I think me and the boys are expecting to find some gold, that they're fighting over gold. I don't know if we will find it, but... No trouble in roads. Okay. Kill him? Oh, oh, forget it. Who are you? Gone. What are you doing here? No I was just passing through. Don't mean to intrude on your politics. Damn jackass. <laughs> what? Okay. I'm just gonna go in here and uh, talk to your leader the family headmaster Kaliga Hall it's a beautiful house hmm. what do you want boy this here the gray plantation yep sheriff's orders you wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it. Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. What? I don't want to talk to you. Who should I talk to? Oh, I'm going, I'm going. Chill. Who am I gonna talk to? Hello? Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region and. Uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down Bo. there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Master Bo. Hello, Mr. Bo. Oh, you're reading. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. 
Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. <laughs> we don't get a lot of traveling men here. Then suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. <clears throat> looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What, what secret? secret? I got a secret <laughs> of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray. Son of Tavish Gray, Boo. nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman <sighs> from the future. She's like... <laughs> Tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. I'm, a. Uh... <laughs> oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than I'm a matchmaker are. now. Watch out. Oh, I need to watch out for the guards. Okay. Where's my horse? I left my horse here. Right here. Come on. Where are you wandering off to? Come on, silly, silly boy, or maybe this is a girl, yeah I think my horse is a girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't talk to me, you, you didn't want to talk to me, I don't want to talk to you. Cool music. Soothing when you when you wanna chill, like the worst gamer is doing. This is good music. Classical tunes. What? Watch out there, little bunny. I need, need to sneak past the guards. Mm. Can I just go in and say I have a message for someone? Okay, no, it's a secret love letter. So, should I really go this way? Wait a minute. That's right. Right in the smack of it. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea. But they're leading me this way. <gasps> That's a guard. Guards here, right? Okay, we have guards there. Come on, guards everywhere. Sneak past guards. 
Maybe I'll stop right out here and I'll sneak, s jump off my horse and sneak in. The gazebo. Is it that patio over there? Okay, no, she's out there. Mm, and there's a guard over there. Come on. Is he watching this way? watching out towards the water so maybe I can sneak up here yeah maybe like this She's up there. Okay, stand tall. Hello. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a smoochy smoochy. A and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not from me, it's from, uh... From Bo. Oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. <laughs> but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. <laughs> Ohio. You What's ever so... been to Ohio, sir? No. Awful well, there. Neither have I. But my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are are there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, a little bit. A bit. <laughs> but here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Okay, so are the guards still at the same place? There's no guard there. Okay, that's good. Or is he hiding? No. Then I can run like this. Why is it also red? This whole place. I need to stay out. Okay. They shouldn't be able to see me now. Let's go. Let's go. No armor. 
armed guards. Maybe there. Whew. Just workers. Okay, let's go to... Whoa! But that was a worker. Oh no! I'm leaving, I'm leaving! I'm leaving! Go to pew, pew, oh. Maybe. Mm. That's a two star. That's a two star. That's a one star. Yep. Let's go. I need to save before I get to view. Didn't I put the weapon away? No? Yeah. Cannot use weapons in roads. I know. Yeah. So, let's save so I don't get killed. In some tedious annoying way uh, as I usually <laughs> do yeah. oh I have a letter for you a love letter for the grays now. All right. <laughs> I'm working for Bo. Can I write in here? No problem. But where is that boy? Boy, you get over here, boy. Oh, he's in the stables. And do you have my payment? Hope you do. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. Uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. <laughs> thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What <clears throat> a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry oh. Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. 
I'm not a mailman. 12 bucks to sneak in there and deliver a letter where I could be shot. 12 bucks. Well. Come on, come on. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Okay. So yeah, she's gonna protest for the women, women's uh, liberation movement, and they can Easy get boy. it could Calm get kind of rowdy. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, <laughs> not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob. We must <laughs> me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. <laughs> Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Cool. Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep, and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, Ooh. and we know <laughs> our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. What's your song? We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch now, the water. Now, now, take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Uh, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can <laughs> feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What the hell is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. equals. Ah. Yes, equal, <laughs> sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Yeah. Mm. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Oh. 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 
Japanese philosophy dependent hey. on biology. Sir? What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your what? Hands down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. <laughs> you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always were. Bo, cocky little. Were we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? <laughs> Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? <gasps> Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh Lord. Huh? Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. What? Are we running away? You don't wanna go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. <laughs> I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope <laughs> and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, oh. and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope what? said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Why were, were we running over here? This is awful! Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh... They keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic Spending temperament, so habits. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying <laughs> to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Okay, 30 bucks. What? Well, how could I get better at this mission? Complete within four minutes. Okay. Ah, that's not so important. Yeah. So, should I ride up to Strawberry and do that mission? Where are the... Uh, the deers? Over here? That's a two. Two star, two star, two star. Okay. None were, were good. Yep. Let's check these out. Then I can ride back to camp. Or no, I'll 
think I'll ride to Strawberry, right? Oh, a lot of rabbits. So here we have two star, one star, two star. A lot of deer, but no, no three star. Well, okay, let's yeah. go. Here, maybe here. Okay, there. One star, one star. Quality. Okay, that wasn't good either. Either. Oh, do I have a lot of meat to cook? Easy. Three star. <gasps> Two three stars. Should have used the Easy other there. rifle. Ah, sorry. That wasn't good. The other rifle, I could have at least gotten two, two shots in, but I forgot that I have to reload this one. And that makes it impossible to do that two shots. Yeah. I just destroyed this one. Yeah. That was wasteful. Good deer pelt, yeah. Let's put this one, stow it away, and then put up a camp, see if I can produce anything. They take me back to the battlefield. What? Whoa. Shit. I thought I would die there. That's the bounty hunters. I should shouldn't camp here. Like this. Oh, that's dangerous. Very dangerous. I really thought they would get me there. Luckily they were only three. <laughs> Gold plate buckle. Tear down camp. Let's let's not stick around here. If anyone else is coming. Let's go back to camp. Maybe then it's... Yeah. yeah. Let's get back home. So maybe I should pay my... Uh, my bounty. Since... This could be quite annoying. If, if 
if I <laughs> get out. <coughs> if I get ambushed like this, and if I die, I'm gonna get angry. Hold on there. A minute of your time. No. Let's get us a closer look at this one here. Is no. That no good who took What? Okay. Why was were these the Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah. You can always get ambushed like that. It's crazy. Well, you can't fault me for this. Okay, then, girl. I was ambushed, actually. So, yeah. got them. Do we have eyewitnesses? But they attacked me, guys. Coming bounty hunters. Oh man, they're everywhere. Yep. Should I ride up here? Can I get away from them? Four. Four bounty hunters. Maybe I can go to the station. I'll go to the train station and pay my freaking bounty. Let's pay it. <laughs> Sorry. Wait your turn. Almost done. Pay bounty. Good lord. It can't be worth it. Lemoyne. Can I help you? Should I pay that one as well? Yeah, okay. Okay. I bet there's some very disappointed bounty hunters just outside. Yeah. Thanks, mister. Okay, I'm a bit poor now, but uh, at least yeah. I won't get uh, uh, ambushed by these bounty hunters. Yeah. So let's get back down here. Camp. Yeah, so this has been a good chilling episode. Not that much action. Uh, started out fishing and then uh, delivering letters back and forth and uh, yeah, some action with, with the bounty hunters who snuck up on me. Uh, that was... That was actually... I thought I would get shot to pieces there. But I made it. So let's sell to Peterson. I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna sleep. First, I'll talk to Peterson. Give him the the pelts. Has he gone to bed? Donate. Bring me 
something soon if you can, Arthur. Yeah, I hear you. Not the best quality, I'm afraid. Perfect rabbit pelt. Then we have good deer pelt, two of them. Fine, but make sure and a perfect you get a good one. price for it. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Let's get some sleep. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was? No. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. No, I'm going to sleep. I'll de deal with that in the morning. So, more oh, three hours? Okay. <laughs> three hours of sleep. So, we're, we're selling the moonshine now? Is that it? They seem to have some uh, relationship troubles. Uh, Dutch Vanderlind and the girl. I don't remember her name. Yeah, so that was it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Maybe you'll get back in the next episode. I'll see you where Archer ends up. Thank you for watching. Bye.